guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining us today and choosing to click on my video. Today we're going to be previewing and checking out this Rooted Hair Anakin Hot Toys figure. Um, sorry about that beginning background noise. Um, I just, I don't know, I don't, I'm not sure why it happens, but yeah. So let's check it out. So... First up, let's talk about the accessories. So, this is a DX figure, probably because of the rooted hair, but anyways, uh, so he comes with, uh, his robot arm, uh, he comes with multiple hands, he comes with two lightsabers, Count Dooku's and Anakin's, well, Count Dooku's and his, <laughs> um, his, his, Anakin's lightsaber, we'll just say Anakin. Anakin's lightsaber is USB charged, but Count Dooku's isn't, which does seem a little weird. He comes with uh, this base, which it looks pretty nice. Might, be, might have been nicer to have like something cooler, maybe a bit like crazier, but they do make a lot of crazy bases, so it kind of is nice to just have a a nice simple one. He of course also comes with his robe, and that's about it for accessories, but you know, if you're thinking, well that didn't seem like that much for a DX, it's kind of what it seems like, but this just pays off for it all. So this is the head sculpt, and this just looks uh, amazing. So. Uh, there were some pictures of this where the root, where the figure was on display and the rooted hair looked a little messed up. There was kind of a lot of controversy on that, um, but, but the, uh, I don't know, I, I doubt they would release the figure with hair like that. They would probably, I mean, people would be furious over that. And I think a decent amount of people have been pretty excited about this, so don't worry about it, guys. They, I, I doubt they'd do that. It'll probably get released looking something like this. But anyways, we're just gonna talk about this head sculpt. If it were, if it's gonna, if it's going to be released looking like this, and if that's the case, then it looks amazing. This is honestly probably one of Hot Toys' best prototype pictures for a head sculpt that I have ever seen. I mean, this looks... Not only is the hair really, really nice, but the the likeness to Hayden Christensen is incredible here. Um, so, you also have separate rolling eyeballs. I mean, what else could you ask for? So, here you have this, showing separate rolling eyeballs, and then here, with the wool hair implant- uh, wool hair implantation. Excuse me, um. But yeah, here it is from the back, also- also looks pretty good. So, other places have been doing, uh, well, like, you know, in art stuff. Well, other people have just been doing rooted hair stuff, like- like this, uh. And those action figures are like really nice, but they are very expensive. This is like less than 500, um, but still looks really, really good. I mean, this head sculpt, don't tell me you don't see the likeness to Hayden Christensen and the hair from these views, just it just looks so good. Um, but yeah, let's just hope that it's going to be released looking like this. Um, because this this looks amazing. <laughs> so from different angles, the hair looks like not as good from this angle, kind of. But I think that's just like a weird angle, sort of. But yeah. So unfortunately, uh, um, they did use a uh, pleather for his uh for the the wait I want to find a picture that's all right here for these things um that's kind of disappointing they could have used leather easily but so that's that's kind of lazy on hot toy side they also I'm assuming 
use pleather for the belt. Um, so yeah, but so that that part is a little cheap. But this head sculpt um, just looks amazing, and you know, sure it's pleather, but it'd probably take a long time for it to actually flake. So just keep that in mind. Don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, I mean, the whole the whole suit or not suit the, all the robes they just all look really good um really nice fit um it, it, it just looks really really good um but yeah as you can see he comes with that hand um i'm not sure if he actually does this pose in the movie he probably does at one point this is kind of like his blocking pose though for some reason <laughs> This is a terrible way to block, but yeah, there's Dooku's lightsaber, but it would be a little weird. It is a little weird that uh, they would include Count Dooku's lightsaber and then not make it light up. Um, I don't know, that just seems a little weird to me. Like, what if you have, you have his lightsaber light up, but not Count Dooku's, and it looks, like, weird. Um, but, I don't know. Still cool, you know, still a cool lightsaber. Um, something I wish they did, though, with their lightsabers is I wish they uh, made them, like, not how it, like, starts out normal and then just gets smaller and smaller. That just, I don't know, that just looks weird and kind of bad, and that's just not how it was in the movie. And, I don't know, for some reason here, it just makes it look shorter, but... I hope that someday they will stop doing that. It's not a huge problem. It's kind of just a small nitpick, but they should just stop it with that. But yeah, this head sculpt, I mean, it's incredible. The likeness to Hayden Christensen, I'd say, is on point here. The hair here looks really, really good. His scar looks good. The eyes look good. Separate rolling eyeballs. I mean, just everything about this just looks really good. Now, of course, it is, um, uh, as you can see here, uh, what's the word for this? It's two pieces, is that the word? <laughs> I don't know. It's not like a one piece. Uh, wait a minute, I cannot think of the word, I don't know why, but as you can see, the head sculpt is separated from the neck, um, which does allow for more articulation, but... It doesn't look as good as you can see here. It does have a seam, but I don't I don't really care about that kind of a seam, but yeah, I mean it looks really good. I think this is a great figure. And yeah, I mean if they can get it to release looking like this, this head sculpt, then I think this could be one of their best figures for for the whole year. Um but yeah, really nice. Uh hold up. Alright, let's see. Uh so yeah, 415 so it's a bit pricey, but that's just because of the rooted hair. It just, I mean, that looks really good, guys. Come on. <laughs> but, yeah, expected to ship July 2024 through December 2024. So, hopefully that, uh, that shipment won't be, uh, delayed or anything. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that they will release the head sculpt looking like this? Or... I don't know, I mean, I doubt they'd release it looking bad. <laughs> the hair, I mean, that would just be terrible on them, because they have other competitors now, like, in art, I just saw that Joaquin Phoenix Joker, in art Joker, and, I mean, that thing is insane, so they really, they have to step up their game, Hot Toys does, if they truly want to be the best company. They gotta start making seamless forearms, uh better hands, I mean, even the hands on that figure were really detailed, um, I mean, this head sculpt is actually pretty good, really, really good, if they can get it, the hair released looking like this, then, I don't know if they really need to work on that, that looks really good, but, yeah, I mean, I don't know, these other places, they are really going in a lot, but, I mean, those figures are super expensive, though, so this is kind of just for if you want, you know, a really nice figure still, but also, but not super expensive. I mean, this is expensive for an action figure, but, you know, 
that's that's what we do in this community. We spend a lot for things we want, but yeah, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you guys love this figure? Are you worried about it? Um, about how the hair is gonna turn out, how they're gonna fix that and stuff. Personally, I'm not sure about uh like, you know, uh artisan or just just rooted hair myself. I feel like I might not take care of it enough and then it might just get like messy and ruined and ugly and then I might like try and then it looks bad so maybe maybe like with rooted hair I've never of course had an action figure that has rooted hair so maybe it does like stay together nicely but I, I think it does move some so I'm not sure uh, if I'll actually, like, how long it'll be until I get a rooted hair figure. That new, uh, Scarlet Witch is coming out, um, people, people really like that, but it does have rooted hair, which looks good, but it's just, I don't know, it seems risky to me. Um, but, I mean, this is, if they can get it released looking like this, then this could, like, maybe even, I don't know, p possibly be their best head sculpt. <laughs> I mean, this looks amazing. Lots, what do lots of people think is the best head sculpt right now? They like, uh, um, I forget what his name is. I don't know, the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, I don't know, Yondu. Yeah, they like, lots of people like that head sculpt. Uh, people like Johnny, or, not Johnny Depp, Jack Sparrow, the Jack Sparrow head sculpt. Which, I think both of those are really good too, but this, I mean, that looks really good, um, but my next preview is also gonna be coming, uh, that will probably be on the Batman, Michael Keaton Batman figure from the Flash movie, with, uh, the original suit, is that what it's called, um, because I think that one also has a really good head sculpt, but, yeah, what do you guys think of this figure, um, comment down below, are you gonna, are you gonna get this, guys? I don't know. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you. Just only if you enjoyed the video, please, you could do me the honors of subscribing and maybe giving me a like. But, yeah, happy collecting, guys, and God bless.